Hi, my name is Steve Barton. I'm here at Solid Rock Machine Shop Incorporated. Today we want to look at some measuring tools. I think everybody's familiar with depth mics uh, uh, and some of the technology they have now uh, uh, that they have where you can use digital indicators rather than a depth mic uh, work up pretty good. Today we're going to show you both. We'll start out with your standard depth mic. Uh, uh, this uh, I give to my son, but when I started to trade, it's a Starrett set. Uh, it goes from uh, 0 to 12 inches with these different rods. Uh, you can pull, uh, the, unscrew this, pull one rod out, put this rod in there, and it will give you uh, a different inch setting. You can get all the way up to, I believe, it's maybe it's 6 inches. Maybe it's 0 to 6, yeah, that you can get with all the different rods. <clears throat> Anyways, if you take something like this and if you want to measure a counterboard depth, uh, you would set this down. You'd spin this barrel out, a little pin will come out the, the side there, and if the mic is set right, you can come down until it hits, bottoms out, hit the friction, pull it up, and you can read. And what you have to do is you got to read the vernier scale on here and here's where it can get confusing sometimes because it reads just a, a little bit different than a micrometer. If you're used to reading a micrometer you're spinning the opposite way uh, than what you got over here. So this one here looks like we're measuring uh, 552 uh, a thousandths is roughly what we, we have. And you can measure different steps say like in this V block if I want to measure step there this cube, I got a hole in there if I wanted to measure the depth of that. Uh, anything that I, I need to measure from one step to another, you can. Very handy tool when you're doing precision work. Uh, the problem that you have with this, you don't have a tenth scale on there. In setting these, if anybody that's worked with them, you can find that they're real difficult to get set to dead zero. And then uh, if I want to read the tenths, I kind of got a guess about how far it is based on the one thousandths mark. Uh, here's my latest tool that I've used for, for reading on, uh, or my depth mic anyway. It's a mid toy indicator. Uh, it's got a base that I've had laying around that I fitted it to. Uh, this has a one inch total reading. And so I can set this uh, first by turning it on, making sure it's clean. I take something rather than the granite table, I'll take something that's nice and flat, a uh, piece of ground steel. I set it in there and I rub it in uh, real good. Come over here and I can hit zero. Now this is set, I can read within a, a one inch range. You just come down, you can read 552 and one tenth. We're getting pretty much the same reading we had with the stair, but you can see how much easier and faster. Plus, I read the number. No more of the 25 thousandths errors that you get because you're used to reading your micrometer rather than your depth mic. Uh, you can come up any steps that you want to measure. Uh, you can read 268. That's what it is from the top. 288. Uh, very fast. Very accurate. This indicator uh, has a resolution up to 50 millionths. So it's much more accurate than what we have here. And the thing, uh, if you set gauge blocks and set the accuracy on it, you'll find that it's right on the money. It's very close. Uh, what do you do when you need to have something that's further than the one inch travel? I don't have all the rods, but you can, you can uh, buy you a set like this. You can unscrew the tip here. And screw this in here, screw that tip in, and now I got from one inch to two inch to set this up uh, properly so it reads right. I'll have to reset it. I can take a, uh, this one inch gauge block, Set it up, re-zero it. Now I can read between one inch and two inches. I can pull that one off, pop this one on, and I'll be able to read between two and three inches. 
Then I can take this one, add it to that, I can read between three and four inches. If I had a complete set, you can just keep on going. The other nice benefit of this, you can see this tip has got a flat bottom. It works good for shoulders and stuff like that, but sometimes uh, you might need a different style tip. Here we have a tip that's rounded. Uh, another round tip. Uh, here's kind of a relief tip. What I may do in the future to get a small diameter, I may cut that off so that it's a smaller diameter that, than that so I can get in some tight spots. But there's so many tips on the market, uh, different shapes, different sizes, uh, and you can screw these in. It makes the, this uh, depth mic very handy for just about anything that you want to measure. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next video.